A wildland fire engine is a fire engine specifically designed to assist in fighting wildfires by transporting firefighters to the scene and providing them with access to the fire, along with water or other equipment. Most commonly used by the United States Forest Service, there are multiple types of wildfire apparatus which are used in different scenarios. According to the National Fire Protection Association, if the apparatus will be used primarily for outdoor and wildland responses, then it is to be considered a wildland fire apparatus and must conform to NFPA 1906. Depending on where the engine is stationed, it may carry as much as twice the national standard in fire hose. In areas where there is rugged terrain that keeps engines from driving directly to the fire, large hose lays are installed to transport water to the fire area. In desert areas with moderate terrain, less hose is used as it is easier to access the fire. Often the technique of pump and roll is used where the vehicle drives with the pump engaged while a firefighter uses a hose to spray water on the fire. This technique allows a team of two to flank the perimeter of a fire. Topic: <inaudible> Features. <inaudible> Wildland engines are traditionally smaller than standard fire engines and are primarily used for wildfires. They also respond to emergencies in the back country where traditional engines cannot respond. Most wildland engines feature four-wheel drive capability and can thus climb hills and make it through rough terrain. One of the features that makes these engines ideal for vegetation fires is that they can pump water while driving, whereas most, but not all traditional engines must be put into park to flow water, it depends on the specifications to which the fire department wants the vehicle to be built. This pump and roll feature allows the engines to make running attacks on vegetation fires, a tactic that can help minimize the rate of spread by having a firefighter walk the edge of a fire with a hose line and the engine trailing close behind. <inaudible> <inaudible> engine types In the fall of 2007, the National Wildfire Coordinating Group agreed on a set of standards for all fire engines that are used for wildland firefighting. As structure engines are sometimes used on wildland fires, though primarily for structure protection, they are also included in the NWCG engine typing. Per the standards there are seven types of fire engines. Topic. Type 3 The Type 3 engines traditionally have four-wheel drive to make driving over rough terrain easier, they can also be produced with standard rear-wheel drive. Additionally the cab can either be two-door or four-door holding up to five people, but no fewer than three. Almost all Type 3s have four doors as a crew size of five is optimum. Type 3s are required to have a minimum of 500 US gallons 1, L, 420 imp gal of water, and be able to pump 150 US gallons per minute 9.5 liters per second, 120 imperial gallons per minute at a pressure of 250 pounds per square inch 1,700 kilopascals. They have a typical GVWR of 26,000 pounds 12,000 kilograms. The Type 3 is the most popular engine in California due to the easy road access of most fires. Topic <inaudible> Type 4. The Type 4 engine trades a smaller pump and less hose for a 50% larger tank. They are required to carry a minimum of 750 US gallons 2, L, 620 imp gal of water, but only pump 50 US gallons per minute 3.2 liters per second, 42 imperial gallons per minute at a pressure of 100 pounds per square inch 690 kilopascals. The typical GVWR is at least 26,000 pounds 12,000 kilograms. Topic. Type 5 
Type 5s are normally used as an initial attack engine atop a medium-duty chassis. The GVWR of the chassis is around 20,000 pounds Type 6 Type 6 engines are built on a pickup truck frame with a medium duty chassis giving a GVWR of 9000 to 16000 pounds 4100 to 7300 kilograms They are required to carry a minimum of 150 US gallons 570 L 120 imp gal of water but only pump 50 US gallons per minute 3.2 liters per second 42 imperial gallons per minute at a pressure of 100 pounds per square inch 690 kilopascals In California these engines are staffed with one firefighter and used for patrols for this reason the unit itself is sometimes called a patrol truck or simply patrol most other dispatch areas require the Type 6 to have a minimum of three personnel required by NWCG policies, and is more popular outside of California due to its ability to go where other engines cannot. <laughs> type 7 Prevention Module Type 7 are patrol vehicles with a small pump and tank. As a light duty vehicle, they are in the range of 6500 to 10000 pounds, 2900 to 4500 kilograms GVWR. The vehicle has a small 50 US gallons, 190L, 42 imp gal water tank and can pump 10 US gallons per minute, 0.63 liters per second, 8.3 imperial gallons per minute at a pressure of 100 pounds per square inch, 690 kilopascals. It is a multi-purpose unit used for patrol, mop-up or initial attack. Topic NFPA 1906. Additionally, there are requirements laid out by the National Fire Protection Association in NFPA 1906, Standard for Wildland Fire Apparatus. Some of the many details of the NFPA 1906 include stability: all vehicles must pass a 30 degrees stability test. Roadability – Vehicles must be capable of operating on 20% grades and remaining stationary on 10% grades. Carrying capacity – The standard lays out a detailed analysis of what the allowable additional weight is on top of the gross vehicle weight rating. This is critical to keep the vehicles from getting overweight. Pump and roll – Vehicles must be able to deliver 20 gpm at 80 psi while moving at a speed of 2 mph. 